What's up guys, Trev back again here to do another MMA related video. Uh, this one's going to be on Anderson Silva and the possibility of him facing John Jones in a fantasy fight. Uh, recently, uh, Anderson Silva has basically said that uh, in an interview when he was asked, you know, would you move up and wait after you beat Okami uh, to fight John Jones at 205? And he has basically said, no, uh, he won't. Uh, he won't do that. He said that they're friends and that he, he wouldn't want to do that. Uh, he wouldn't want to face them. Um, and really, it's up to Anderson Silva in this situation because John Jones does not have the ability to make 185. He has a hard enough time making 205. Um, I don't think he could make 185 even if he tried his damnedest. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's got a heavyweight frame now. You know, he's kind of like um, uh, Alistair Overeem uh, back in the Pride days. You know, he was just... You know, it was so hard for him to make 205 because he was just a bigger guy, really tall, you know, lanky, and uh, puts on weight easy. And, um, you know, was having a tough time staying at that weight. So Anderson Silva saying that he's not going to face John Jones at 205 means that it's not going to happen. That's all there is to it. Um, but uh, it, it's kind of fun to talk about. It's kind of fun to think about, you know, the possibility if it were to happen. Um, if it were to happen, I would say that, um, you know, Anderson Silva probably has a better chance than anybody in the uh, light heavyweight division of beating John Jones, that's for sure. And I'd say, likewise, John Jones has a better chance of beating Anderson Silva than any, anybody in the middleweight division. Uh, even though we're not going to see it, how would this fight play out? Well, I think that, um, you know, when you look at uh, both guys' skill sets uh, and you look at how good of a wrestler John Jones is, John Jones is big, too. He's basically a heavyweight fighting at light heavyweight because of his uh, work ethic and the ability to, you know, cut down that much weight. Um, you know, this is kind of like Anderson Silva fighting a heavyweight, really. Um, you know, a guy who's way bigger than him and, uh, you know, taller, lankier, um, and a much, much better wrestler. Wrestling is re really here is probably where the fight is going to be uh, decided. I mean, uh, John Jones would be able to take Anderson Silva down at will. And the difference between John Jones's uh, ground game versus Chael Sonnen's ground game is when John Jones gets you down, it is over, man. It is over. He does damage to guys that are down guys when guys are uh, when he's got guys in their guard he does damage big time damage not like Chael Sonnen you know Chael Sonnen you know was in uh, Anderson Silva's guard for five rounds and all he did was you know throw out some punches yada 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 after the fight Anderson Silva's face didn't even look dinged up at all man it was it was like there was a, you know nothing there's just nothing on those punches so but John Jones is totally different John Jones lands an elbow you know he can break your orbital bone he can you know any of these types of things um so obviously that's how John Jones could win. How can Anderson Silva win? Well, if Anderson Silva was to uh, was to fight him, um, I would say Anderson Silva would try to stay away from the takedowns, would try to uh, keep it on his feet, and would try to knock John Jones out. And could he do that? Oh, he could, definitely. Um, however, Shogun wasn't able to do that, and uh, Shogun wasn't able to do anything. Now, Shogun doesn't, you know, isn't as lanky as Anderson, but uh, at the same time, I would say that, uh, you know, as good as Anderson Silva is, uh, and as fantastic of a fighter he is, um, you know, even though he could outstrike John Jones all day, can he stop John Jones' takedowns? I say he can't. I don't think he can. Um, can he? Would, would he be able to tap John Jones out once he gets taken down in his guard? Would he be able to catch him with a triangle or something? I don't think so. I really don't think he would be able to. Um, I would say that in this fight, I would have to pick John Jones if they, these guys were to fight. And the reason for it being is because I think John Jones would be able to just take him down at will, pretty much. Take him down over and over again. And, uh, you know... Ground and pound him out quickly, not like Chael Sonnen, where it takes five rounds. You know, a couple elbows, a couple shots, and that's it. Um, the margin, though, I would say, you know, the percentage chance, I would say it wouldn't be that high. I'd say it'd only be 60 40. Um, you know, John Jones being one of the new generation fighters, um, you know, him being in a weight class above Anderson Silva, being able to, uh, you know, just destroy guys once he gets them down. Uh, you know, I can't see Anderson Silva being able to, uh, to stop him from taking him down. Anyway, that's my uh, fantasy prediction, so to say, for um, Anderson Silva versus uh, John Jones. Even though we'll never see the fight happen, if it were to happen, that's what I would say. How that, That's how it would go, in my opinion. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll see you. Try to say in peace. Later.